गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ अ लेक्चर नंबर थर्टीन ऑन रे ऑप्टिक्स वी आर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आवर नेक्स्ट ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट दैट इज़ योर कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोप ओके इन लास्ट क्लास इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द सिंपल माइक्रोस्कोप द वन ऑफ योर ऑप्टिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड एन अदर वन इज योर कंपाउंड माइक्रोस्कोप बोथ आर used to see the tiny objects okay <coughs> both are used to see the tiny object but uh, difference is that in simple microscope there is only one lens ex uh, exist but in case of micro uh, compound microscope we have the uh, combination of lenses okay that's why it is called compound microscope okay so let's begin okay okay dear students so let's start with some basic concepts okay as we have discussed in the simple microscope uh, the uh, structure also we have studied the ray diagram uh, what is the angular magnification what is the uh, distinct vision we have already discussed in the last class okay so here we have to discuss the another one that is uh, compound microscope the key points are what is the uh, about some uh, some theory about compound microscope what is the working of the compound microscope the ray diagram of microscope uh, angular magnification or magnifying power okay these are the basic key points of this particular lecture okay so you can see the figure here we have two lenses okay basically compound microscope consists of two concave lenses okay that are coaxially separated by some distance okay the lens nearer to the object is called your objective lens whereas the lens through which the final image is viewed is called the eyepiece lens okay so what is the working be behind this uh, compound microscope the objective of compound uh, microscope forms the real inverted and magnified image okay uh, as you studied in the, the standard 10th uh, image formation through the lens at the different different positions okay so no need to uh, explain about uh, that uh, image formation okay so the object the objective of compound microscope forms the real inverted and magnified image of the tiny object okay this image serves as the object for the second lens okay that is eyepiece lens which produces the final image okay and it is uh, uh, very enlarged and virtual the first inverted image in this uh, is thus near the uh, focal plane of the eyepiece at a distance appropriate for final image formation at infinity or a little closer to image formation at the uh, near point okay the final image is inverted with respect to the original object okay so let's begin with our uh, ray diagram here we have uh, as as you can see this here we have two uh, combination of two lenses first one is your objective lens which is nearer to the object okay and second one is the eyepiece lens that is l2 which is near to your eye okay so you are observing from this side okay so the ray which is coming parallel to the principal axis of this lens l1 after refraction passing through the focus of this lens l1 okay okay you can see here and the ray which is passing directly from the optical center of this lens l1 this objective lens l1 there is no deviation in this particular ray okay so these two rays are meeting at a certain point on the second side of the lens okay where we have 
got where uh, the image will be formed okay that is your this is your image a dash and b dash okay clear okay now what happened with the uh, with the second lens that is your eyepiece lens this uh, image this particular image behaves like a virtual object okay this this image is behaves like a virtual object for this your eyepiece lens okay so the ray which is coming parallel to the principal axis of this eyepiece lens after refraction passing through the uh, your focus okay and another one which is passing through the optical center of this eyepiece lens okay uh, having no deviation okay there is no deviation in this particular ray so as you can see this that this uh, both of these rays cannot meet each other at this side but if i extend these two rays like this then we got one certain point where these two rays may be intersect okay or meet okay so the point where these two rays were, were meet uh, we, uh, at that position at that particular point we got the final image okay that is your a double dash and b double dash okay so u naught is your object distance f naught is your focal length of objective lens f naught f e is the your focal length of uh, your second lens that is l2 that is your eyepiece lens there is some difference or there is some gap between these two lenses okay between the focal length of these two lenses this is called l also called the tube of the uh, the length of the tube of the compound microscope okay clear okay so uh, this will be uh, this this particular uh, point this uh, this uh, image will behave as a virtual object for this eyepiece lens so the object distance will be ue okay and the image distance what is your image distance this your v naught v naught is your image distance okay for this uh, this image hi the height of an object that is h1 height of the image is hi so v naught okay so this is your uh, d d is called your uh, distinct vision okay as we have discussed in the previous uh, your previous optical instrument that is simple microscope when the image formed is at infinity okay then your object is at is in uh, that your image is at infinity v equals to infinity so we get uh, v equals to uh, u equals to uh, sorry v equals to what v is equals to d that is your distinct vision okay because our eye can see without any straight easily this particular image okay clear so this uh, this is the complete explanation uh, of your uh, ray diagram okay now uh, start the derivation now uh, we are going to start the derivation uh, for the magnifying power or magni uh, angular magnification of this compound microscope okay okay students <clears throat> as you can see or as uh, we have studied in last lecture that your angular magnification is represented by m and it is given by beta upon alpha mathematically it is represented as m equals to beta upon alpha okay and for small angles alpha equals to tan alpha and beta equals to tan beta okay so our magnifying power or angular magnification will become what 
टेन बीटा अपॉन टेन अल्फा ओके नाउ यू हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ टेन बीटा एंड टेन अल्फा रिस्पेक्टिवली ओके सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द जोमेट्री वी हैव टेन बीटा and tan alpha what are the values that is perpendicular upon uh, tan beta is tan theta is uh, perpendicular upon base okay so from the geometry you can find out easily the value of uh, tan beta and tan alpha okay <coughs> so it is not uh, a, a very crucial task to find out the value of tan alpha and tan beta okay but uh, i suggest you one uh, very simple technique to find out the magnifying power of this compound microscope okay okay listen carefully read carefully this uh, particular lecture till end okay ab is your object height that is h o okay so according to the geometry or according to the ray diagram we have or equals to h o okay now the magnifying uh, magnification of objective lens okay that is denoted by m not so what is the magnification linear magnification okay linear magnification through the lens l1 or objective lens that is height of an image divided by height of an object okay according to the geometry this will be your uh, height of object height of image and this or is exactly equal to ab so we can write as or equals to h not also okay so our magnifying power is m not equals to hi upon ho okay now come to the triangle orp this will be your triangle o this is r and say this is point is p okay write this point this particular point as p p point okay so orp what is the value of tan beta okay so tan beta equals to base upon uh, sorry perpendicular upon hypotenuse so or is your uh, perpendicular and op is your base okay okay as you can see here in triangle orp tan beta equals to or upon op the value of or that is ho and op is nothing but the focal length of your objective lens that is f not as shown in the ray diagram okay so tan beta equals to ho upon fo or uh, if i cross multiply uh, this equation we get ho equals to fo into 10 beta that is your equation number second clear now come to uh, our uh, second triangle that is triangle p a dash b dash okay uh, your triangle p a dash b dash this is your p a dash b dash if this angle is beta this angle will also be beta okay so the value of tan beta from this particular triangle that is perpendicular upon base that is a dash b dash divided by p a dash okay this will be your value of tan beta from this particular triangle so clearly tan beta equal to a dash b dash upon p a dash what is the value of a dash b dash a dash b dash is nothing but your uh, height of an image that is your hi and p a dash as you can see in the figure p a dash what is p a dash okay p a dash is nothing but your uh, length of the tube okay p a dash is nothing but the length of your tube why because p a dash is approximately equal to length of the tube because uh, since there is a very small uh, difference between these two points okay between fo and a dash okay 
there is very small difference since very close to each other these points are very close to each other that's why we can say that p a dash is approximately equals to l so 10 beta equals to h i upon l okay or you can write h i equals to 10 beta into l this will be your equation number three okay then what is the linear magnification m o as uh, we can uh, we will write uh, we have a equation number one m naught equals to h i upon h o so the value of h i is 10 beta into l and the value of h o equals to f naught into 10 beta so we have m naught equals to l 10 beta upon f naught 10 beta see this 10 beta and 10 beta will cancel out each other and we have we got m naught equals to l upon f naught okay this will be your equation number four okay then the magnifying power of eyepiece this uh, your uh, lens L2 that is your eyepiece lens behaves as a simple microscope okay and forming the image at infinity and for the simple micro microscope when the image is formed at infinity then your object uh, then your uh, sorry then your uh, image which is formed by the uh, by the lens L1 behaves as a as a virtual object for lens l2 okay when the image is formed at infinity then uh, the distance of an object is equals to infinity okay so um, what happened uh, we get uh, in a last uh, uh, as we uh, we have studied in last lecture magnifying power when the image is formed at infinity m equals to d upon f d is your distinct vision and f is your focal length so in case of uh, eyepiece lens uh, the magnifying power or magnification will become m e for eyepiece lens d is the distinct vision and f e is nothing but the focal length of the your eyepiece lens okay clear so as uh, in compound microscope we have the combination of two lenses okay go to the uh, go to the uh, the derivation in which we have discussed about the uh, lens thin lens in contact okay but here we have uh, some gap between uh, these two lenses okay so formula will be different as uh, as i uh, explained in that particular lecture you can refer that particular lecture okay so the magnifying power of compound microscope will become m equals to magnifying power of the objective lens multiplied by magnifying power of the eyepiece lens what is the value of mo that is l upon f naught and d equals to uh, and m equals to d upon f e okay so this will be your magnifying power of compound microscope okay we have two different cases here when the image is formed at near point then the linear magnification given by the eyepiece lens that is m equals to 1 plus d upon f e as we have discussed in the uh, simple microscope a dash b dash upon a b is nothing but the magnification of the objective lens okay so magnification of objective lens will be m naught equals to v naught upon u naught okay so uh, what is what is m that is m e into m o okay so we have the value of both of both the value of m e and m o so m equals to v naught upon u naught into 1 plus d upon f e okay but by the lens formula for the objective lens 1 upon f naught equals to 1 upon v naught minus 1 upon u naught multiply both side by v naught we get v naught upon f naught equals to 1 minus v naught upon u naught or if i uh, calculate the value of minus uh, uh, by shuffling this particular equation we get v naught upon u naught equals to 1 minus v naught upon f naught put the uh, value in equation uh, which uh, we have that is uh, magnification m equals to so we get m equals to 1 minus v naught f naught into 1 plus d upon f e this is the uh, magnifying power of compound microscope when the image is formed at a near point okay keep in mind this is the magnifying power of compound microscope when image is formed as at the near point okay now come to the another one when the image the when the final image is at infinity so 
when the final image is at infinity then your magnifying power of objective lens v0 upon u0 and the magnifying power of your uh, eyepiece lens that is d upon fe as uh, we have derived previously okay m, m equals to d upon fe so what is the magnifying power mo into me so what is the value of mo v0 upon u0 into me d upon fe okay v0 is nothing but the um, length of the tube okay separation between the uh, separation between the two lenses okay so l upon fe into d upon fe this is the final equation for the magnifying power when the final image is at infinity okay so uh, very important uh, questions uh, very important derivation okay i hope you understand it very well and if you have any doubt about this uh, particular topic just ask me okay thank you so much